special day, of course, as BT remembers uh, the great life of Jean Bédivaux, and I'm standing here in front of Mary Queen of the World Cathedral, joined by uh, famous sports reporter Dave Stubbs. This is a special moment for me. Uh, you've interviewed me, interviewed me all of my career, but this today is a very, very special day for you. It absolutely is, Alex. You know, I got to know Mr. Bellavo over the years uh, through a whole variety of stories that I did, and it was just heartbreaking. I knew as, as the end was nearing that I had to prepare the story that you inevitably just do not want to write. And finally, when I did and filed it, it's just been one emotional roller coaster after another. Meeting some of these great, huge gentlemen who played the game, these guys who were rock solid, who I idolized as kids, and seeing them literally dissolve in tears. I mean, every single night that I have filed a story, I've just sat down and cried. And you, you have a personal story uh, with Jean Bédivaux, quite the personal story, which makes this day even, even a bit more sad for you. It is. You know, uh, Mr. Bellavo has been Mr. Bellavo forever to everyone, to opponents, to friends, to colleagues, I mean, to heads of state. He has been Mr. Bellavo. Well, I got to know him very well with some of the stories I did over the years. I was invited to his place to lunch. We were sitting down, and I called him Mr. Bellavo at one point, and he put up the hand, and in a very famous baritone, it was, David, if you continue to call me Mr. Bellavo, I will show you the door. <laughs> And I laughed and laughed, and I kept calling him Mr. B, and, and finally he put his hand up. He said, I'm not kidding. You're, you're leaving. <laughs> so from that moment on, it was Jean, but there were many, many times when I would actually Mr. B, and a stop and a caught in my throat before I could call him Jean. So he's an absolute prince of a man. Well, listen, Dave, I very, thank you so much for taking the time to share this story with us. It's going to be emotional. It starts at 2 p.m. inside the cathedral behind us. Uh, for now, back to you in studio, Joanne.